believed, I believed, if we're really drawing from the folk canon, we would be remiss if we did not include a song about a train. <laughs> Trains are like the lifeblood of the folk music movement. <laughs> and um, there's this great spoken word musician, performer guy named Chris Chandler. If you ever get a chance to see him, take it. He's amazing. Um, and I remember from, gosh, at least a decade ago, getting to um, watch him perform a piece that he wrote about trains, and he reminded us that trains weren't supposed to run on time. You were supposed to be stuck at the depot across the aisle from a total stranger for long enough that you actually have to start speaking to them. And um, it's kind of the great social equalizer in his eyes. And so I told Narissa that, and after I read a song about that, and after she wrote it, my kids loved it. They listened to it all the time. And they said, Mommy, is there really a train like this? And I thought long and hard and said, yes. That little train at Look Park, that's this train. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! One, two, three. Yeah. 